I think that you could say that by 1966, Coco Greaves had completely lost his mind. Um, he became heavily involved in conspiracy theories. Uh, his main one being that uh, because of photographs of the way that the shadows fell from their flags, um, he was convinced that the US had faked the D-Day landings. Um, you know, just complete shit. Uh, but he was willing to punch anybody who claimed otherwise. You know, even if they were a, a veteran attending a ceremony in Normandy with their family, which happened a few times. Standing at the counter with much a reader, watching her at my chicken fajita. She gave me a wink. Well, Rita Hardwick was a lovely Jamaican dinner lady who worked at Shepherd Head Studios, which is where the Queefels were recording in 1964. Um, and she was, I suppose, a victim of miscommunication. Um, one day, she just casually asked one of the Queefels whether he could give her a lift to a railway station. And he understood that to be something wholly different and wholly sordid. Um, but the reason that happened, unfortunately, was because that phrase, giving one a lift to the railway station, was a euphemism used by Dennis Havisham uh, to mean cramming many, many penises into one anus and so anyway the morning after the band returns to Shepherd Head Studios and they recorded running a train on Rita and I don't think at the time any of them realized just how serious what they had done was uh, but again it was great music well, they were taking an enormous amount of drugs. You know, at any one time, they had on hand a vast quantity of LSD and cannabis of many different varieties and strains. Um, you know, so they had, I mean, for instance, for LSD, they had Wiltshire acid, cannabis, they had spastic haze, Californian goo gobbler, uh, Mechatrix hyperserbide 438, uh, dwarf heritage hashish, nonce amnesia, Al Qaeda, you know, the list goes on. But of course, they could afford it. They could afford all of that and more because of the success of their record sales, uh, but also because of their genius for merchandise. You know, that's how the world ended up with the swing wing. And I, for one, can't imagine a world without that. It's a new thing. It's a fun thing. It's the swing wing. It's a what? It's a swing wing, it's a wing wing, a brand new classic grand fun thing. It's a what? It's a swing wing, a fun thing. And now it's your favorite store thing. It's a what? It's a swing wing, a fun thing. And every pop gotta have one thing. It's a swing wing, a wing wing. A brand new trans, a grand fun thing. 
Swing Wing. Get Swing Wing, made by Transigram, where the fun comes from. It's a Swing Wing. It's a what?